What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, it is a new brand new thing that I'm doing on my channel. I have a collab finally for once. It's my first collab. I'm so excited and I have no other than the lovely Taylor from Be Glamorous Nails collaborating with me today. These are her beautiful nails and uh, so we're doing like Valentine's Day theme, hearts and love theme and all that cute stuff. So uh, I'm just going to hop straight into the video. I don't want it to be too long, but all of her links will be either on screen in the cards at the top right. And I'm also going to have it come on screen at the end. And it's going to be in the description box if you're mobile or you just don't see the links on screen. So I already have my tips applied and a thin layer of clear acrylic over the natural nails. And um, I'm just going to be doing like, you know, long coffin shape with my, um, these are the McCart or EC basket clear tips that already come in coffin shape, so I didn't have to do anything but literally just put them on. I want to do like a red jelly clearish tip and I didn't have any red jelly nail polishes or gel polishes, so I took Cherry Party from Madam Glam and mixed it with top coat and that is what I painted onto the tips of these nails and it's really something you can do with any color. It's such a great trick or hack. And after I paint that on all the tips, I cure that in place so that we can do the ombre. But I love Cherry Jelly, um, Cherry Party. When I used Cherry Party and diluted it, it gave it like this pinkish, pinkish hue to it. I don't know, it's amazing. Cherry Party is a red that I use over and over and over on my channel. It's like my favorite red, I love it so much. And I think there are some discount codes that I have for Madam Glam if you're interested in Cherry Party or any other Madam Glam colors. So now I'm going to be doing the milky white ombre. I didn't want to do a natural nail bed ombre. I wanted to try something different. And this was a bit challenging, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel that when your tip color and your nail bed color are very contrasting, you have to work double as hard to make that blend perfect and seamless. Um, so basically, first let me tell, me tell you what I'm using. I'm using a um, white, this is bright white from JC Beauty, and I mixed it with my ASP Clear Acrylic. And it's about, um, it's definitely not a 50-50 ratio. That white is very powerful. So you need the smallest bit of white, maybe like one to 10 of clear, if that makes sense. It's like a one to 10 ratio because that white is very powerful. And if it doesn't feel uh, pigmented enough for you, then go ahead and add a little bit more white at a time. And you can do this with any white that's really smooth. I used to do this with the Tammy Taylor white, but I wanted to try it out with the JC Beauty white. So once I got my mixture, I am just blending this over the nails. So I don't have a big rhyme or reason to this. I just start out and then if I see that there needs to be more blend on the wings or in the middle of the apex, I will just take the little bit, littlest bit of uh, acrylic and go in and correct that. And basically that's all you wanna keep doing. If you notice that the white acrylic is like coming down onto the red area, like towards the tip of the nails where it shouldn't be, you wanna wipe that off as soon as possible before it sets on the nail. And you just get your brush wet with monomer and wipe it away. Or you can even use your finger if it's a little bit too stiff for you to wipe it away because it definitely does show in the end result. So that's just something to be mindful of. But basically you're just eyeballing it, taking your time. With ombres, you just really have to look at it and until you're really happy with it you can then cap it with clear so i'm going to build up the rest of the nail structure with clear acrylic towards the end of the nails so that is what i'm doing and after everything is laid i'm going to file shape and buff I do my file shaping and buffing off camera. So I'm gonna have two videos in the cards at the top right, the little eye, and those are gonna help you with everything I leave out of my videos, such as like the prep and the file shaping and buffing and all that stuff. Maybe even I have like information on refills and removal, stuff like that.
So I'm doing something different that I've never done on my channel. I'm using stamping plates today. I was always intimidated by stamping plates because I never had luck with it, but it really does come down to the right products and the right paint and everything like that. So first off, I'm going to paint some little hearts on the nails with the stamping gel polish. I think all of my stamping stuff that I'm using is from Born Pretty Store. So I'll have links down below. If it's not Born Pretty, I will have the correct link for you. Um, this stamping plate was given to me by a friend, so if I can't find it, I will try to find an alternative or anything similar to it. Uh, so I'm just painting these hearts on with the black stamper polish, and the stamping polish dries very quickly. So what I want to do is, because I didn't have any red stamping polish, I decided to press red chrome into that polish. And it worked. It worked really, really well. So that's all I'm doing. After I paint my hearts, I take some chrome on my finger and just tap it into that paint. And since it's pretty much dry, it's just a little bit sticky. It's almost like a sticky layer of a gel polish, so it just picks up the chrome right away and you just dust off the excess and there's your design. So this is something you want to be extremely careful with. Like, I messed up a couple times and I had to wipe off the design with uh, acetone and it kind of like makes the nail very sticky. So if you find that you have to wipe off with acetone, go back in with like monomer on a paper towel and wipe over the nail. It like rehydrates the nail again. I find that acetone can kind of leave white streaks on the nail and it's really not a good look. So um, basically just stamping, it's kind of scary, but I find that the clear jelly stampers that you can see through to the bottom, those help so much. So I just uh, put the gel pot, put the stamping polish, and I use this card to swipe off the excess. Don't worry about whatever is like left on the plate. It's like magic. It doesn't pick up anything but the stamp. So you just want to press down, and I try to like hold my stamper down for five seconds just for good measure to make sure it's getting everything. And then I just pressed it onto the nail for like another five seconds and it's been working really well for me. And then like I said, I just put the chrome into that before it gets too dry and that's about it for these like kisses and hearts. I love how it came out. I feel like you can do so many different chromes with this. Like I'm going to be doing this so often now because I have a very limited amount of stamping colors and I just don't want to have to buy a lot of stamping colors. If you guys have any tips for me about stamping, let me know because I'm definitely a beginner and I want to know more about it. But it's such an awesome way to put designs on the nails. I love it. A